Hey guys, what's up? Today I got an NU match. This one is against Mr. Ander. And uh, as soon as I saw his team, I'm like, is this a baton pass team? Because I'm pretty sure like five or six of those pokes get baton pass. Um, so I was kind of worried, but, um, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and leave a probo pass, get my rocks up. I can paralyze stuff. You never know what paralyzing will do, especially on baton pass, because if they get, if they lose a turn being fully paralyzed, that can screw up their entire thing. I unfortunately don't have any, like, roar or haze or anything like that, which would really help, but, you know, eh, whatever. So, like I said, leave the probo pass. I'm going to go for the uh, thunder wave just to paralyze him, just in case he doesn't sub. And he goes for hidden power. And I'm like, holy fuck, that is really weird. Because I'm like, okay, maybe he has hidden power just because, like, probo pass and layer on wall eradicate to shit. I mean, eradicate does get, like, flame wheel, but it's like, other than... Like, that doesn't really do anything because it's neutral to both of them because they're both rock and steel. Um, so I'm like, okay, maybe it's a chance. But then he's going to switch out after I paralyze him. I set up Stealth Rocks. He's going to switch into his uh, Glaceon. And I figured he was going to kill me. I thought he'd just go for the Hidden Power Ground or Fighting because most, uh, most of them have it. But um, he just goes for Ice Beam. And that's really not doing too much to me. So I'm going to go for the Thunder Wave and then Volt Switch out. Because I figure I can still use Probo Pass for a fodder later. Unfortunately, because he got the crit, it's basically down to that. Like, he'd, I'd still be at, like, half health if not for that stupid crit hidden power. But anyways, as I'm going on, I'm thinking, this guy's team is not acting like a Baton Pass team. So, uh, yeah, I Volt Switch out to War Turtle, I'm figuring. He probably has Ice Beam Shadow Ball. And maybe, like, Wish, because he's got lefties. And uh, he freezes me, but that's not a big deal, because I do have Scald. He's going to switch out to his Mightyena, I guess, thinking maybe he can do a lot of shit to me. But, yeah, I have Scald, so as you see there, it instantly thaws me out. Which is weird, because it doesn't thaw out the opponent if they're frozen, which doesn't make much sense. I mean, it's boiling water, so it should melt both of you. But, anyways... um. That's that's not the case. So anyways, he switches into this Mighty Anna. He's going to go for the Heal Bell, which I'm like, okay, I guess this team is full of, like, walls that are really weird because you don't usually see... Like, I mean, Mighty Anna is okay as a stall breaker, but with Heal Bell and Toxic, I'm like, that's really odd. Uh, he's going to switch out here into his Glaceon because uh, he's really not getting mu too much done, and I am going to kill him. So, yeah. But uh, I got a crit on the Scald. Unfortunately, I don't get a burn. Because that's what I really need now that he's no longer paralyzed because of the heal bell. But he's going to go for the Wish as I go for the Rest. Which uh, is great because War Turtle really amazing with Rest Talk. It's his only form of recovery other than like Aqua Ring. And you can't rely on lefties because you want to have the Violate Defense boosts. And, you know, he's pretty freaking bulky. He's got like 80 in both defenses, I believe. Um... And, yeah, against, you know, a team full of walls, he can't really do too much for me. I mean, he's got a Raichu, and I'm like, why is he not switching into it? But I do have my Tangela, so it's 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 okay. Um, he's going for the Wish again here, and I'm like, if he passes out to his, uh, his Mighty Anna, that's fine, because I'm actually going to wake up here, and he's not going to be able to take that Wish, but he actually switches out to his Raticate, which is also no longer paralyzed again because of the heal bell. I mean, that's how heal bell works. But I do go for the scald. I am going to crit burn him here, which is excellent. Uh, Wish is going to give him most of that HP back. Uh, but the main thing is the burn, residual damage, because he shows me charge beam here. So I'm like, okay, he's got to be like specs. I mean, Raticate has like 50 special attack, uh, but it is a normal type, so it does get like all sorts of ridiculously good special moves. So I just think he. Could have found a better one than this. I'm sure there are many better special attackers um, that are normal. I don't know. I just find it really weird. But he switches out because he didn't get the special attack raise. But it doesn't matter because I go to Tangela. For some reason, he's going to go into his Beedrill, which has Toxic, even though he knows my War Turtle has Rest. So I don't know why he did that. But uh, I was thinking he'd be like Bandit or maybe start setting up Toxic's place. So I go for the Sleep Powder. Unfortunately, I miss. He switches out to Raticate and dies to the Burn as I go for the Sleep Powder. And it fails because he's burned, obviously. And uh, now he goes into Mighty Anna. He's going to hit me with a Super Fang, which I should have been expecting. But it doesn't really matter. I have nothing to be immune to it. So no Ghost Types. 
And I mean, Tangle is probably the best because I do have the Regenerator, so I'm going to heal up, you know, half my missing health just by switching out, which I'm going to do now because he is going to switch into his Beedrill. I'm going to go to Probe Pass, mostly it's just Death Fodder. I'm just like, okay, maybe he'll Toxic me, maybe he'll do something weird, but he goes for the Roost, and I'm like, again, like, why do you have these really weird Pokemon that are on, like, defensive sets? Like, Roost Toxic... Bug Bite now? I'm like, what's your last move? I, I don't even know. And why is it not Toxic Spikes? Like, Toxic Spikes would be good, at least, because then you can automatically poison shit as they switch in. So, I, I just I just do not know. Um, but, yeah, here I go for the Earth Power. Little dumb. Could have just Volt switched out. But, uh, yeah, you know, not a big deal. Now, here I'm going to go for the uh, Thunder Wave, which is kind of a bad idea. Because, A... Uh, my Jinx does have Lovely Kiss, so I could have potentially put him to sleep later. But mainly, because now I'm going to go for the Volt Switch. I'm going to go first, because he's paralyzed, and I'm going to have to have something take an Ice Beam. What I could have done is just Volt Switch last turn, it would have been after his Ice Beam, and I could have gotten a Safe Switch into anything I wanted. I mean, I'm going to go into War Turtle anyways. Unfortunately, he's going to get paralyzed, so I'm like, damn it, I could have just switched into whatever I wanted, and that would have worked out fine. But I'm going to go for the Scald, because at this point, basically, I'm like, he can't do anything to me. All he's shown me is Ice Beam and Wish. I'm guessing he has Protect. And he doesn't have Toxic because he probably would have used it by now. And he probably doesn't have Heal because Mighty Anna had it. So it's most likely going to be like, I don't know, Shadow Ball maybe. Or like, could be Yawn, but I don't see that being an issue. But I get him down to around half health. So I'm comfortable that he's going to want to go for the Wish. Switch out to Meg Mortar right here. And that's going to work out perfectly, because he does exactly do that. Goes right for the Wish. And at this point, he's going to Protect as I go for the Fire Blast, but that's not a big deal. I'm going to go for Fire Blast here, and once again, my mind is going to be blown. I, I, I'm just lost for words. He has an Aka Berry on his Beedrill. And I'm just like... What? What? That's a... What? That just confuses the fuck out of me. I, I don't even know. Uh, I'm going to outspeed him because higher base speed and because he's paralyzed. Uh, and he probably doesn't have any speed investment anyway. So, I go for Thunderbolt, kills him. He's going to switch into his Raichu. I'm going to go to Prova Pass just as Death Fodder. And I figure if he doesn't, if he does like Nasty Plot, I can just keep breaking the subs with Earth Power if he tries to go for those. But he Volt Tackle, or not Volt Tackle, Wild Charges me. And I was like, shit. I go to Slacking. I'm like, I don't know what the fuck else this guy is going to pull out. I don't know. Like, I know he has Drift Blim. He's immune to Earthquake and Retaliate. Uh, I could go for Shadow Claw, but it's not going to kill the Raichu. And I don't want him to pull out, like, Brick Break or, or something weird. Because if he does, he'll get two hits off on me because of Truant and stuff like that. Well, I could switch out. But anyways, I'm just like, whoa. And then I switch out to my Tangler because of my special wall. And he pulls out Acrobatics. And I'm just like, fuck. I, I don't even know what's going on at the, like, I'm just like, oh god. So I switch out to Meg Mortar, scare him out, go for the Thunderbolt, switches into his, uh, Glaceon. Gonna go for Fire Blast, thankfully he doesn't just protect just to waste more time, because this Fire Blast is gonna roast him, I'm Life Warp and everything, so it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, and so now he goes back into his Raichu, he still outspeeds me, because, you know, much higher base speed. So I'm gonna switch out to my War Turtle as Death Fodder. Uh, hoping he'll go for Wild Charge just to get a bunch of damage on him. That way I can guarantee kill him with the Shadow Claw because it's doing around half. Uh, I'm actually going to live, which didn't matter because he's at way less than half health and I don't need it. But he goes for the turn here, which is kind of weird. I don't know why he has return, but okay. Um, so like I said, just flacking, go for Shadow Claw. He's going to switch into his Drift Blim. I figure both my Pokemon remaining outspeed him. The Jinx and Meg Mortar. So, uh, Slacken can take a hit with Truant. You know, that's fine. But he actually has Sucker Punch, too. And I'm like, oh, shit, actually, you know what? Jinx might not have been able to take that. And Meg Mortar would have been pretty close to getting killed by that. But, um, you know, anyways, I take both hits and I kill him. He has Aftermath, too. I'm like, you don't even have Unburden with Flight Gem Acrobatics? That's a little weird. So, I, I don't know. I don't think I was able to successfully predict anything this guy did all battle except, like, Glaceon's Wish. Um, and like, I don't know, like Ice Beam, I guess, but other than that, um, pretty much nothing else he did I was expecting, like, at all, um, at all, because like, I'm like, Drift Blame usually has like Shadow Ball and shit, 
right? She was usually a special attacker. Raticate usually a physical attacker with guts. Um, Mighty Anna is usually Moxie Booster or, you know, like Stallbreaker, not like Wool. And Beedrill is usually, you know, Toxic Spikes with Endeavor or just like Toys Bandit. And just none of his... I'm just... I, I, it was interesting. He said, like, oh, it was a very fun match. And I'm like, yeah, dude, like, I had no idea what the fuck was going on, like, at all the entire time. I'm just like, ah, uh, I brought, you know, like, a fairly close to standard NU team. Um, and it ended up working out. But I, I don't know. I was just like, holy fuck, dude, I don't even know what's going on. So, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the match. And I'll see you all tomorrow.